just working on the cable management now, um, which is still a bit of a mess. A lot of headers for RGB. We have the fans, RGB pump, RGB on the graphics card, uh, two fans in the bottom, so we have two fan headers. The radiators and the fans at the back, there are four fans there with headers for fan and header for RGB. Yeah, there's a lot of RGB. Take it back so we can test the pressure now and fill it. I mainly chose the Inwin 303 due to the form factor. I wanted to have an ATX case and I also like the layout, uh, how it has the radiator at the top. Uh, I thought that was really nice and also the fact that the front panel uh, wasn't really being used for any mounting. So it was a perfect opportunity for me to cut out that uh, window in the front panel. I chose the Inwin A1 case because it's small and interesting and I haven't done a build in it before this. So I was up for the challenge. Uh, yeah, the ASUS Maximus uh, 11 code uh, was actually, uh, it actually fit the theme of my build pretty well. Uh, it wasn't intentional actually, but um, the main uh, theme around my mod was uh, going to be around 45 degree angles uh, with the tubes and also the brushed aluminium. And the motherboard already has uh, a lot of 45 degree angles and brushed aluminium already on it, so it actually worked perfectly. Well, the ASUS Trix board that I'm using in this build is like perfect for it because it's black and a bit brushed dark aluminum and it fits fits the theme really good so basically i i didn't do like any modifications to it at all i just need to to tweak the rgb lights and then we're good to go the inwin 303 has a really easy um, system for the side panels uh, so the, for the front the tempered glass panel doesn't have any screws or anything like that so i really like that you can just take it on and off uh, quite easily 
Also the way it has the radiator mounting in the top. I really like how it looks uh, so you can show off the fans and all the RGB. Well, the biggest challenge with this case is that it is so small and yeah, definitely the Mini ITX is small. So you have not so much space for cables, for, for tubing, for every part that you want to, to put in there. So that was definitely the largest challenge. Biggest challenge in my mod uh, was actually the 45 degree bends that I had to do um, with the pass-throughs. They had to be pretty perfect to get them straight, so that was pretty challenging. And also cutting out that front panel um, window, the case is... I uh, actually had to pull apart the, the entire case, but it sort of has the front panel and the top panel are interconnected, so you can't really pull them apart. So that made it a bit challenging cutting out the front panel window, but we got there in the end. Uh, the best thing I liked about Tim's mod is uh, the fact that he worked on an ITX case and obviously not really having room for uh, all the water cooling parts in there. I really like how he did uh, all of the external radiators. He actually managed to get uh, more radiator surface than I have in mine. He has two 240 mil radiators. I have one 360, so I thought that was pretty cool. So I like Alex's build because he used like 45 and 90 degrees angles all over it and it matches the hardware that he's using. He's used a case that has like these sharp angles on it and quite a minimalistic look and that's that's what I like doing myself as well so and he gone for this uh, black coolant which is pretty damn awesome in that case. Yeah the, the whole mod pit experience has been awesome actually uh, it's been really great uh, you know getting to know all the EK crew uh, the hospitality has been awesome and also uh, being in the EK warehouse and having to, you know, access to all of the EK water cooling parts at your disposal, all of the tools and everything here. It's, uh, it's been an overall awesome experience. The whole experience has been quite, quite cool and unique. I would love to do it again.